here we are there's the plane we always see it seems and we're out here we got winds they're blowing maybe up to seven coming straight across I'm out here in this tall grass and uh, we're gonna take off full flaps I'm going over the camera I'm gonna clear that camera that's what I'm gonna do make sure I'm looking down not down too much right there should be good well heck let's go flying Oops. Oops. Flaps up. <laughs> the wind. <laughs> the wind was kind of blowing. I had the, the, the misdirection on the wind, that's for sure. <laughs> the wind was blowing the other way. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh. I got my battery pretty far forward. So it might be just a little... Might be a little, might just be a titch, a touch on the tail heavy side. The wind's blowing pretty good. Turn it around. Yeah, it's tail Time heavy. I could tell that turn right there. You can see she was tail heavy all day long. Man, that was a great landing for that tall grass. Whew. Yeah, I could tell she was tail heavy. When you saw it, when, it, when I made the turn and it wallowed, when you saw it wallow like that, that's a... That's definitely a sign of a tail heavy plane. And you can see where I put my 3S. So I got my 3S kind of back there quite a ways. So I'll bring it up here. Put it up here close to the front. And we'll take off from the tall grass again. All right, let's take off from the tall grass. Time has stopped. No flaps. Time remaining, four minutes. No flaps were needed. She is so light. We'll do a little curl. We'll try some crosswind landing. But seven miles an hour in a UMX, that's kind of a lot. Takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. There flaps we go. Up. Flaps are acting normal now with the battery more towards the front. It's not all the way to the front. It's close to all the way to the front. Yeah. It was definitely, I was pressing my luck there. <laughs> A three cell 300. I had it back. That's, you know, I don't know. I thought I'd try putting the CG back. Time to stop. Oh, you don't know until you try. I tried, and now Time I know. Time I'm surprised we didn't crash. <laughs> she definitely came up in the grass, Time though. Remaining. Let's go out here in the hay field. It's, a, it's in the 60s today. Time to stop. Take off flaps. One click of flaps. man it's out here in the hay field I'm telling you this is deep stuff oh. one click of flaps is still in let's see if she can take off Time to start. Flaps up. no problem it was risky with the flaps because in tall with a lot of friction when you use flaps sometimes it has a tendency to bring the back the tail of the plane over the wheels so that was kind of I had to try it 
wanted to see what it would do. But this should answer your question about flies and grass. It's flying out here in a hay field. <laughs> I mean, it's not like super long, but... Time remaining, two minutes. It's long, it's clumpy. Let's see if we can get another landing here. Timer stop. Takeoff flaps. Timer start. Timer stop. Landing flaps. Timer start. Timer stop. Timer start. Timer stop. Oh! Flaps up. It rolled over. That was my fault. I brought it in because the I kind of lost the gusts, so I had to keep it, you know, in a stall out altitude attitude. She nosed over. That was on me. It's in tall grass, man. That is tall stuff there. Let's see if she can take off. We're stuck. No roll at all. It's got stuff wrapped around the weeds. Wheels. It's got wheels, weeds wrapped around the wheels. There we go. All right, she'll take right off. I have a feeling. Let's go! Big foot! Ooh! The wind shifted. It's blowing good. All right, into the wind. In the hay field. We had to cut her way out. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Kind of changed my field around here. I do this all the time when the wind's blowing. Not all the time. Most plane, every plane I fly except for like a UMX. I won't alter the course of the field. But for I don't know, I just wanted to see it land. Today's video was supposed to be landing in rough stuff. I think we've done that. Time remaining, one minute. We're flying a pretty good winds. Pretty good winds for a UMX plane. Most of my flying's been around half throttle. If we text back. I wish I had wish I had more Time batteries. I wish I had a four cell. Because I think the weight of a four cell would work better today. Now I know I'm not gonna make this turn. It's gonna flip over. Kind of stuck. That's awful rough out there where it's at. There's the smooth. Man, I would have bet you, heck, I, I would have bet a battery, I would have bet a four cell battery that I couldn't have taxied back, man, because that stuff is so rough once you get out over, off of this little driver. Once you get past this edge right here, it is so rough. And look at these ripples from the storms we had this week. It's just terrible. But I'm going to mow tomorrow. So all those ripples will be gone. I'll mow it real short, keep going over it, blowing the grass off the runway. There you have it, man. One of the truly fun planes to fly. I had a blast flying it today. We're out in the tall grass, tried to take off over the camera, but man, with it being tail heavy and the wind wind shifted, because it's not blowing just straight across. Sometimes it's blowing from over there, sometimes from over there. Like right now, it's kind of blowing from that oh, right in there, right straight there. Yeah, you can see, you see. So it's just, and I had that camera angled wrong, the plane angled wrong for the wind shift. There you have her, man. Your your micro Draco, which on my channel it's the mighty Draco, 
And if you, someone calls it a UMX, so what, man? It's almost, the, the, you know, it's just, I don't know, like four more inches of wings than the UMX um, Evo Timber. But um, don't get on anybody's case. Call it what you want. I call it a fun plane. It beeps, it hums, it binds like a UMX plane. You know the old adage, you know, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, floats like a duck, flies like a duck, hey, it might just be a duck. There you go. The mighty Draco, Tuco, Jeff, Liberty Landing. The only thing missing, we got crosswinds, that's never missing. But the winds are up strong enough to keep the bugs away, so that's the good side. And it's not a horrible day, it's in the 60s. And we're out here having fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Compartiti Must Go Flying. Oh, oh, oh.